Good morning, guys. I'm leaving Berlin. I didn't want you to doubt me that I was in Berlin. Here's the Brandenburg Gate. I go there, take a picture, and quickly get out of Berlin. Very, very quickly. Oh, there's some people taking pictures. I'll have to Photoshop them out. Let's position myself and the bike in the most touristy way. Why did they put this thing here? Was it an accident or not? Let's try and go like this. <laughs> Hopefully the road is not blocked somewhere. So, left Berlin, but I have to cycle 170 kilometers today. It's a pity that I don't have too much time uh, because it would have been fun to leave Berlin and go through all this sandy forest. But it is what it is. I need to get to Norcap sooner rather than later. So today is August 23rd. So I think it's exactly three weeks since I left uh, since I left Italy, since I left Bergamo. And uh, my odometer is uh, 1,500 kilometers, 1,518 kilometers. So today I'll, I'll be, a, but I think I already had a 100 on. So if I had a 100 missing, so in three weeks I did uh, a little over 1,500 kilometers. I think it's, uh, it's a good going. It put me well into 2,000 kilometers per month. And uh, yeah, I think it's uh, next month that should be a little bit more. And hopefully I'll, uh, I'll be in Orca by the end of the month, by the end of September depending how much time I rest into, into cities. If I can, I will, uh, I will stop three days, three, four days in Copenhagen. And then, uh, let's see. It's uh, 100 kilometers missing and it's already 10 past 2 p.m. I have uh, six, seven hours to get to my host. It's pretty windy, but I'm still keeping a good rhythm. Most of the roads I've been doing are, uh, are like in the forest or sheltered by by trees for the most part and I can keep uh, an average of about 20 kilometers per hour give or take sometimes a bit less sometimes a bit more I was very slow to leave Berlin because there is always lots of turns lots of uh, traffic lights look at these horses it's uh, it's my chance to, to take a break. It's ten past seven in the evening. I did one hundred forty-eight point five kilometers, and I still have uh, about twenty-seven kilometers to go. I think. Let me check. Twenty-seven. 
25 kilometers to go, so I should get going because it's gonna. The sunset is in uh, one hour and ten minutes, so let's keep going. And uh, yeah, now I have a little hill, and hopefully, I can make it there before it's dark. It's very windy. You cannot really trust Google Maps. <laughs> Always, always sending you in the worst. You make me go through a private property. There was a big dog. Luckily, I could enter one gate and also the following one. It was not locked. But there was a big fucking mean dog. Good morning, guys. I'm on the road. It's uh, half nine, a bit late, but uh, last night I, yesterday I did 175 kilometers in 800 meters. I was pretty beaten. I was staying with a lovely couple, a Russian girl and her German husband. They made a barbecue for me, it was really nice. They waited until I arrived, it was a uh, quarter to nine. Uh, it was lovely. And we had a nice meal, uh, sorry, breakfast this, uh, this morning. So I spent a little bit more time talking to them. They were very curious, they're cow surfing hosts. But they are also bike tourers. They didn't know about warm showers, so they sign up on warm showers. So there are, there's a new warm shower host between Berlin and uh, Lübeck, more close to Lübeck. <laughs> uh, so today uh, we get to Lübeck, 140 kilometers. So, 30 kilometers less than uh, yesterday, 35. So, slightly shorter day, which is, uh, which is good, because yesterday was a bit much, to be honest. And uh, this area of Germany is very windy. There are uh, windmills everywhere. So I guess it's, uh, it's not just these days, but it's a general, uh, situation and hopefully i will do some roads that are sheltered a bit from the wind like this one because i'm in between trees so uh, the wind i get is is minimal had a host arranged for lubeck but uh, uh, he has some problems he cannot host me anymore so this morning i sent a few requests I didn't hear back from a uh, warm shower host and uh, I sent loads of couch surfing requests. I didn't hear back. Hopefully I get a place to stay. I wanted to rest, stay two nights, rest one day. If not, I will just camp before uh, get into Lubeck and just uh, continue. And uh, I might rest when I get to Copenhagen. I think I arrived to my destination. 
to my host house in uh, Lübeck 142 kilometer and 80 800 meters so 143 plus 175 yesterday good good progress to Norcap this is Lübeck city center the old town very nice and charming very very touristy super super tourist now let's see if I can go around and around mother old Lots of water. Water. I am leaving Lubeck this morning. As you can see, there is the lion. This one is sleeping. That one is a bit more alert. And they just guard the city. Concordia, Domi, Forest Pax. For the people that speak Latin. And next up is uh, Copenhagen, I think. I will go to Fiemann Fieman Island. There I will take the bridge and then cross the East Denmark. Get to Copenhagen. Today is Thursday. Thursday, Friday. I think I'll be in Copenhagen on Saturday. Lübeck, very charming city. I think uh, most of the buildings are from the 16th century, if I'm not mistaken. City center has some old buildings, some are new because I think this was the first town, uh, city that was bombed in the Second World War in Germany. The city center is very charming, it's basically an island, so there's rivers around, very touristy, and uh, very famous for this uh, hot chocolate marzipan, and uh, Sebastian, one of my followers, told me this before I arrived, he asked me, where are you? Gonna get to Lübeck tomorrow, he said. You have, you have to try the, the chocolate marzipan. Chocolate marzipan, something like that. And then he said, maybe it's an expensive experience for uh, the kind of adventure you do. So let me send you a donation so you can, uh, you can experience it. And he was really kind, he made a donation so I went to the main square where there is the rat house and there is also like the, the factory shop. And uh, I had the hot chocolate marzipan and I had a, a piece of cake. Uh, there's also a marzipan and it's a classic. They told me you have to try it. And so, yeah, thank you very much, Sebastian, for this treat. It was wonderful. It was a very nice gesture. Lunch is done and it's getting pretty dark. Okay, behind that hill, like maybe 10 kilometers, on the far side there, it's raining. Just, uh, I was on top of a hill and I could see the rain. But it's only this big cloud. If I can push it, five or six kilometers, maybe 10 maximum. I should avoid this rain because then, then there is not, it's clear, 
Well, it's clear. It's cloudy, but it's not raining. Let's see if I can go faster than uh, than the wind pushing the the rain this side. Success, guys! I was able to avoid the shower, and I got to this uh, little town on the on the coast. It's, uh, the sea is here. Let me show you the Baltic Sea. There you go. I brought you to the Baltic Sea. Let's see if I can turn the camera. They don't have umbrellas like uh, in Italy or in the Mediterranean, but they have these little, uh, I don't know, kind of huts. Uh, looks nice, looks very cold. I will never, ever, 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 ever come in vacation in a place like this. You have to be with your dawn jacket on the beach in August. It's crazy, crazy. Why would anyone want to come in vacation here where you have so many places where it's nice and hot? Mystery of life, mystery of life. I have another uh, 55 kilometers to this afternoon and I will get to the island where I spend the night. I think there is a couple of warm shower hosts and I contact one. Ah no, there is only one warm shower host. I told that and he said uh, there shouldn't be any problem to crash at this place. Even if it rains this afternoon, I have a dry place where I can spend the night. And, and that's enough for me. Look at the flag. Straight in my face, the wind. That's where I'm going. the bridge I think that will take me to the island. Oh getting exhausted with this wind. and it's not raining. Last night, prediction, rain all morning, but my host told me that the, the prediction here are not reliable because there is lots of wind on the island and sometimes the clouds splits when they get to the island and uh, yeah. So maybe for an hour or two, there should be good weather. And I think in 14 kilometers, I finish crossing the, the island and uh, I get a ferry to Denmark. It should be 45 minutes ride. I think I have company on the ferry. We are VIP one. So this was the first light uh, that put green, a bit light. 